<laughs> you got a job, man. Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to have um, a vlog about um, <laughs> bread crumbly. Yes, bread crumbly. So when I actually heard this, what I think I heard it from um, Toke Makenwa's YouTube page. I was like, ah, ah. that was what actually attracted me to the this particular particular video when I saw it because I was like. Which one is bread crumbling? Because me, I like bread. And when I want to eat bread, I'll crumble, like I'll squeeze the bread. So I was like, maybe that was what she was talking about. But bread crumbling is actually a thing that happens to that people do in relationship, knowingly and unknowingly. They do it not, and it's not just related to women. Even guys too, guys and ladies, bread crumble people in relationship. Now, what's bread crumbling? I'll just read. The definition of bread crumbly if you go online search bread crumbly you come you get one of either this mini or the other minis but you get something close to this one i'm reading what's bread crumbling bread crumbling is an, i wrote down the definition so i'll just read it out bread crumbling is an out of sending flirtatious but non-committal social signals in order to lead a romantic partner on with that Spending much effort in other words, bread crumbling in layman's definition, bread crumbling is leading someone on, just giving someone hope without wanting to commit to it, which is very wrong, which I find very offensive. I Me, mean, I don't think I've bread, I've bread crumbled before, but it's actually, um, actually, when you lead someone on, but you know you don't want to have anything with this person, but you just keep them as an option, as a, as an what if option which is very wrong is is um advisable not to breadcrumb someone not to lead someone on and there are some signs to show if you're in a bread crumbling relationship when you're leading someone on romantically but you don't intend to fulfill your promises to the person and most times this bread crumbling happens online not even um not really even online you just have this person that talks to you that calls you that you text with almost almost every time every day this person leads you on you can talk to this person about anything but you find out that this particular person is not even ready to commit to you so you, at the end of the day you'll be wondering what you're actually doing with this person this person has all it takes you have the deep conversation with this person by the end of the day nothing serious is coming out out of the um relationship there's no commitment from the relationship if you're in this kind of relationship just know that you're being and one thing about this um bread crumbling is actually an emotional manipulative tactics people who do this are emotional manipulators it's as simple as that when you're in a relationship with a bread crumbler you actually don't know where you stand with them they are unstable they are cold today hot tomorrow you can't you, you can't actually pinpoint them if someone who is bread crumbling you can talk to you um for three um three days at a stretch the next day the person doesn't call you because he, he actually um doesn't hold um does, he actually doesn't need to call you because you're actually not in a relationship with this person this person is just leading you on and knows that at the end of the day nothing will happen between him or between you or him or her you can't actually explain their Emotions, you just leave you emotionally fr frustrated. You are frustrated with them at the end of the day. For me, eh, for me, I think that bread crumblers they are just narcissists. Yes, because it's only a selfish person, a narcissist that will put on this kind of behavior. Like some people know what they are doing. You, you get it's different when you don't actually understand what you are doing. You get like keeping um, that person as option is a different thing. But some people actually know and understand what they are doing and they keep doing it if you keep on doing this thing intentionally on the long term then know that you yeah, are a manipulative um person and a narcissist and one thing about this um bread crumblers most most times 99 99.5 99.5 percent of the time they're already in a relationship they just need that attention from you this will show you that they actually know what they are doing you get because I don't know why you'll be in a relationship with someone and you someone someone you're leading someone else on. Like now, after all has been said and done, how do you deal with bread crumbling? First of all, don't take it personal. Know that it's not about you, it's all about the person. 
first of all finding out that you are even being bread crumbled or bread crumb and crumbled or in a relationship that someone is bread crumbling you is something that you should give kudos to yourself for then know that it's not personal it's actually an issue that has to deal with the person of of course you know that this one is easier said than done but it's better to keep it in mind know that it's not about you it's all about Best. because most times people who do this bread crumbling they actually do it to boost their ego because i can't see any other reason for doing it you know that you don't want to commit to a person and you just lead them on you see something and say this just reminded me of you and so what it reminded me of you of you reminded you of me what are we going to do about it you know they'll just they like they can comment very on your pictures but at the end of the day this thing is going no nowhere it doesn't actually mean that there's something wrong with you when you are being very crumbled or you're not good enough it's just the person's issue that the person has to do, deal with just just when it happens to you remember what you deserve and set your boundaries when you find out that you're being bread crumble if the person is not willing to change then set your boundaries and tell this person see i understand what you are doing but i'm not okay to be in this kind of relationship with you where i know that nothing is going to come out with it it's not as if you can't have um, a normal relationship or friendship that you be with the person but one thing about this bread crumble is actually tricky to even spot it because you know what this person is trying to lead you on for most times i've read comes that they do this just to have sex with the person but they want to keep having sex with you but they don't want to be committed to you that's one thing about it is actually a very tricky relationship so you finding out that this was happening this that one is kudos to you already then when you find out about this you set the boundary have clear conversation you say see you you set um clear um boundaries and tell them that see i know what you are doing and i can't take it anymore i don't want it it's not as if you can't comment but it should be a limit you get what i'm saying you don't get it forget about it then decide if the relationship is actually worth continuing in if you're lucky you tell the person the person is willing to change fine but if the person is not willing to change you can be actually done with the relationship because actually there's no relationship there and it's just not to spot this one and move on but keep your eye open in future for bread crumblers because it's not just one person they're everywhere they are more you actually deserve i feel that everyone deserves more than crumbs you get you deserve the main bread they don't need to feed you the crumb which is the bread crumbling you deserve more than you deserve more in your relationship with any relationship that you are in you don't deserve just getting a little bit and someone making it feel as if giving you that little bit is very special mm. then <laughs> so you actually deserve more in any relationship if you know and understand that i think it will actually help a long way when someone wants to bread crumble you and this is like a general advice please don't bread don't lead anyone on when you don't want to do anything with the person mind your business and if you are looking for what to boost your ego there are different things that you can use to boost your ego you mustn't use someone's child someone's daughter someone's son to boost so if um the bread crumbler doesn't um see what you are saying and doesn't really want to give you what you deserve know that it's time to leave that relationship and leave it for good i hope you enjoyed this vlog and at least you've learned you've learned one or two things from this vlog please like subscribe and we'll see you guys later bye